Well, we'll be successful ultimately, but the, it seems the uh, current project and, and uh, recommendation from anyone listening to this, if you live in the United States and you've got a few extra minutes, it's really not going to cost you much time, effort, or energy, and we'll provide the specific details of, of again, the address and, and who it gets sent to. But if you could, really, it's a different strategy, is to, is to really thank Jeff Sheeran, Dr. Sheeran, for what he's done. And, to, and here's the key. We don't want it to be a template letter. We want it to be from your heart, of just passionate, empathetic, individualized response. You can cut and paste information that you've learned about on the internet and put it in there to support your statements, but really give him some strong individualized letters that will he it will allow him to be convinced of, of the amount of concern that the public has about this issue now remember that you are not doing it most likely for yourself you are not and you probably may not even be doing it for your kids you are doing it for your grandkids and for 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 innocent women out there who don't know about this and are going to be exposed to this toxin because they just don't have enough insights and, and the government really isn't allowing them to be informed because of the because they're going to have dangerous mercury toxins put in and their children will be damaged. So this is an easy no-brainer and if you can just continue the process, we can be successful. So definitely make it individualized. And for our Canadian friends, uh, Canada will not get off the dime. And Joe, maybe you could put on the website the contact information for the head of the Canadian delegation, Margaret Kenny, and I, we can supply that in writing uh, if you'd like, because I think the Canadians need to say to their government, why don't you start going to the United States? They've been ahead of us for years, but now they're behind us. Uh, that is, they're, they're trailing. And Canada's an incredible country, and it's time their leaders in Ottawa uh, stood up to the pro-mercury amalgam industry, which they're not doing now. They're not doing it all. And uh, you've got a lot of uh, listeners and, and viewers in Canada, Joe, and I hope we can get the message to them, too. Well, we're de definitely making progress in those areas, especially in, in fluoride. It's interesting that uh, the majority of Canadians, I believe, do not have fluoride injected into their water supply. So they're really ahead of us, and there, there's a real good chance that they will eliminate fluoride from the entire country long before we do. Well, water pollution is a key to this mercury treaty, too. I mean, the, in Canada, the Department of the Environment, Environment Canada, heads up the treaty negotiations. We are doing an environmental treaty. That's how we win. Uh, the health debate, I think, is a slam dunk, but some people don't think that, and we're just going to bypass the health debate and say for environmental reasons, the damage to the water, to the air, to the land, we're going to stop the use of dental mercury. That would be the great route. Our website, uh, Joe, is toxicteeth.org, toxic, T-O-X-I-C, teeth, Dot org. Again, we'd ask people to help us in this world fight. Go to our website and find the word donate on the right side of the page and uh, and uh, consider giving something. Okay, great. So, uh, and you know, these are, these are difficult economic times, and if you're fortunate enough to have extra resources, we strongly would recommend to support this this noble cause. But if you don't, then please, I implore you, beg you to to take the time. And, and in some cases, that's going to be even more important because that's definitely a crucial and critical part of the equation. But but on the other hand, you know, it does take leaders like Charlie, who's been flying all over the world. I mean, he was in Japan, and now he's going to, and there was no somewhere in Europe and now he's going to go to South Africa. Is it South Africa? or Af Well, it's either going to be Kenya or Burkina Faso and the U United Nations is still uh, yet to decide that. All right. And then you've got two countries after that. So, I mean, there's, and, and you just don't go by yourself. You have to, you take staff with you. So there's certainly cost involved with that. And this is, yeah. and this is a nonprofit endeavor. So, uh, you know, I just am so grateful that, you know, you're committed to this. I mean, you, you really, I mean, there's so few individuals like you, and it's just such a, a privilege to be able to get behind someone like you who's doing such a noble cause and really taking the, the burden upon yourself and facilitating coordinating this, because it wouldn't be happening without your efforts. Well, I want to give thanks to my colleague at the Treaty Talks, Anita vasquez Tibau from California. Anita is trilingual, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. She's our liaison with the, all the Americas, all the way down to the end of South America, works with those delegates uh, quite uh, assiduously. Uh, we also have other colleagues from around the world, Britain, the Philippines, uh, Ivory Coast, uh, Lebanon, New Zealand. Uh, we have an incredible team of men and women at the Treaty Talks versus 
is the World Dental Federation, which frankly, Joe, is just a bunch of white guys like you and me, and uh, they're 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 over their head now. Let me tell you. Well, good. Well, thank you for coordinating, facilitating that whole process, and you know, I, I'm fairly convinced that we will be successful. But it's it's you know, it's just don't. I believe that, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And so, if you can write that letter and and provide your support to to this cause, it'd be greatly appreciated. Any closing words, Charlie? No, I, I just think what you're doing, Joe, in, in helping to get this message across and in rallying people to say it works. I mean, you've had from the beginning, you've said to me, but what is our message? What can people do? And you always tie that in to action and action in a democracy. Imperfectly true, but imperfectly. But it does work. Yeah, it's it's uh, you're, you're it's you know we have some really ambitious goals to change the world and uh, you know certainly yours is one of them and uh, it's it it appears that eliminating the mercury from the the environment at least in the dent form of dental amalgam will be one of our first successes so thanks to leaders like you and we really appreciate uh, all you're doing and again want to get behind you 100% for your project thank you very much.